Oh, you guys, we'll do real well. Yeah. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Can we lock it up? Can we all can we all see my weird eye thing? <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing a few of you on the front row can see it. Um, yeah, don't worry, guys, on the front row. Just say like it's forever, okay? Just has to flare up when I'm mid orgasm. <laughs> As I say, very excited to be here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> There we go, all done. It wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's weird when my when my eye crosses over because I can see I can see two of everything, you know. So some people it's a pleasure to see twice. <laughs> Others, not so much. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I just looking at somebody for that joke to work again. Okay, don't take it personally. We all good. Okay, not really. <laughs> Uh, no, you're all, you know, besides, you're all, you're all beautiful in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but my eyes are fucked. <laughs> so, that's true, that's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I've been, doing, I've been doing stand up for a couple of years now, and the more I do it, the more I'm constantly on the lookout for new material. Uh, the other day, something landed in my lap really conveniently. I was, I was at the doctor's, and uh, the doctor told me, Mr. Stevens, you've got 60% hearing loss in your right ear. I said, that's great news, Doctor. And he said, no, no, sorry, you must have misheard me. <laughs> and I said, well, you'd have thought that, but I'm actually a struggling comedian looking for new material. <laughs> I said, I'm a straight white man, I don't have much to complain about. But uh, hearing impairment, that's, uh, that's music to my damaged ears. <laughs> I can really milk that, you know? Yeah. So uh, let, me, let the mil milking begin. <laughs> um, yeah, outside of outside of comedy, uh, hearing loss isn't a joke. Um, it's not really that funny, you know. I'm, yeah, thank you, thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm constantly constantly mishearing what people are saying to me. Uh, instead of being instead of just doing the normal thing and asking them to repeat themselves, I just guess at what they're saying. Sometimes I get it right. Most of the times I get it really, really wrong. Uh, like the other week, I was in a job interview, and the uh, the interviewer she asked me, she said, "Do you have good communication skills?" And I said, "Whoa, I don't do pills anymore." Most days I'm you know. <laughs> although I don't, although I do have a number for some fantastic cocaine. I'm getting the job. I'm now regional line manager. <laughs> Hey, another seven minutes. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, what else can I tell you? Uh, I, I used to live in a van. Lived in a van for a long time. So I see what some of you are thinking. Like, yeah, dude, you still look like you live in a van. <laughs> but I, uh, I don't live in a van anymore. Uh, I live in uh, Oldham now. So technically I've downgraded. <laughs> No shade on Oldham, no shade on Oldham. It's got a lot of good things going for it, kind of. But, uh, you know, it, it does have its moments. You know, the, the other day I was walking down the town street and uh, there was this guy and he was, he was sat on the floor, trousers around his ankles, and shit was just flowing out of this guy's asshole. <laughs> yeah, true, true story. You know, so I went, I went up to him and said, hey, mate, are you all right down there, bud? And he looked at me and he went, yeah, I'm fine, thanks, why? <laughs> no, no reason, mate, you carry on, you're all good, you're all good. And walking away from that interaction, I thought that perfectly sums up the people of Oldham. You know? They just get on with shit there. Yeah. Not, not, not it's like airy fairy, like, oh, I've got to wait to get to a toilet. No, you need to take a shit, you just take a shit. So, despite what you might think, it was actually lovely to see. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, yeah, so I, I, I don't do this full time. Look at all those. Look <laughs> <laughs> all those unsurprised faces out there. <laughs> Like, yeah, that checks out, yeah. Uh, no, I'm a, I'm a carpenter during the day. Any, any, any tradies in tonight? <laughs> okay. <laughs> a, couple of, a couple of really depressed yays back there. <laughs> um, yeah, do, do you enjoy it from the darkness? You, you enjoy it? Stop lying to yourself, mate. <laughs> really? You, have, you, enjoy, you enjoy, enjoy your work? Yeah. Okay, fair play, can't argue with that. Well, yeah, as, as a counter, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. You know, it's, it's, it's hard work. Um, it's kind of shit. Like, on, on the down days, I think to myself, what would Jesus do? 
I've seen a few people know the Bible in here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I, had op- I had an operation on my penis. Let <laughs> that sink in. Years ago now, years ago now, guys. Last week. But yeah, I won't go into too much detail because a, a few people passed out in the audience last time I did. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> but you know the you know the you know the, you know the frenulum? The the banjo string? Oh yeah! Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Strap yourself in, guys. <laughs> so, so that was I won't, I won't go into any detail, don't worry. Won't. So basically that it was too short. It was too short, okay? So imagine imagine I'm a dick. <laughs> I can see a few of you already there. <laughs> So, so I, I have a dick, like the, the, my body's the shaft, and my, my, head, my head is the head. So whenever you pull the foreskin back, it go, hey, hey, hey. That feels nice. Hey. Oh, don't put it back too far. So, so my ex-partner, she used to call me Churchill, the nodding dog. <laughs> And then do the impression and everything when she was giving me a hand job, you know, like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give it a little shake. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so um, okay, there we go. I feel, I feel so much close to you guys to help. <laughs> really let you into my world. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, it's all it's all been straightened out now, though, guys. You, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're all good now. Yeah. Um, oh, hey, so what we who we got? We got some Gen Zs. We got some mid twenties in the crowd. A few of you. You can see a few of you down here. Um, front row. We have to pick on you. Sorry. <laughs> so thank you, firstly, for not looking at your phones during my set. I really appreciate that. Um, thank you for also not talking about your various ailments and traumas throughout my set. Let me talk about mine. I really, I really appreciate that. You know, I can see like, I can see a few of you itching to sell the stranger next to you. You know, like, by the way, I've got ADHD. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Who are you? <laughs> Don't worry about who I am. Just know that I've got ADHD. <laughs> All right, we've been diagnosed by a doctor. Yeah. Well, I saw this video on TikTok. <laughs> Call my TikTok to. <laughs> <laughs> Although to be fair, to be fair, you can't you can't get a you can't get a GP appointment nowadays anyway. So you might as well you might as well self-diagnose. You know, uh, it's a fucking nightmare. I've uh, I got a friend. Uh, she she self-diagnosed with autism for for many many years until very recently. She officially got the diagnosis from the doctor. So we had a little party for her. <laughs> It was just a bit of fun, guys. It was just a bit of fun. You know, we had a banner that said, Congratulations, we always knew you had it in you. (laughs) (laughs) And at at this party, it kind of got me thinking, you know, like how we have like gender reveal parties now that are sort of, they're going a bit out of date, they're a bit out of old hat now. I reckon instead of of gender reveal parties, we're going to have neurodivergent reveal parties. (laughs) You know, have a little party, like, you know, people, like, friends and family will gather around, it'll be red for, red for autism, blue for ADHD, you know? Mums and aunties will be, like, sat around like an Iceland spread going, well, deep down she's always wanted autism, but, uh, obviously she'll be happy with anything. I haven't set my watch, um, how far away am I? Have I got a couple more jokes? I don't know, the light hasn't gone off yet. Shit. Yeah. This is my first time I'm such an amateur. I'm so uh, sorry. Red light. Red light's gone on right. Okay, so I've got, I'll, I'll do one more joke. Oh, one more joke. Um, uh, uh, what's that joke going to be? <laughs> okay. Um, does anyone want to have a guess at what my preferred porn category is? What's that? Midget. Midget. Uh, that's, too, that's too close to like, I don't know. No, no, no. Step bum, uh, yeah, I'll go there now and again, yeah. yeah. Wow, I've never, I've never had so many responses. <laughs> really. Right. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Come on, get with it. 
Right, okay, so it's, it's big bums. It's big bums. Yeah, yeah, nice. I've always had a... I've always had a... I've always had, I've always had a thing for big bums. Which is really... Yes. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Yeah. <laughs> I've always, had, I've always had a thing for big bums, uh, which is really inconvenient because I've always had a tiny penis. <laughs> Probably lost that opportunity over there now. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's uh, you know, those two things just don't work very well together, you know? I can, uh, I can see where I need to be, I just can't get there, you know? <laughs> it's kind of it's like when you refuse entry to go on a roller coaster ride because you're not tall enough. You know? <laughs> you'll know? you beg and you'll beg the guy to let you on the rides, but he'll just look at you really sympathetically and go, look, man. If you go on that ride today, you're going to slip right out. <laughs> right, guys, that's Jamie Stevenson.